everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I am going to be doing like a kind of vlog-ish. Kind of following on from a couple videos ago with my whole summer mindset challenge. Kind of like kickstarting a healthy approach to fitness and healthy eating. It's kind of hard to word into a sentence but the gist of it is that I'm focusing on getting rid of that mindset of bikini bodies and stressing over summer and going on diets and all of that stuff. It is all pointless. Anyway, that's all addressed in the last video, but following on now, I'm going to be showing you all a summery healthy smoothie recipe, um, a workout, and then also some advice for motivation, but also long term not just i'm gonna be motivated this week and go to the gym i'm gonna be updating my vision board and photos around my room as another bit of inspiration i hope you guys enjoy this video and find it motivating and let's get to it the gym gotten changed oh so this is the first time I've like worn my watch in a while um so I've tracked this workout so we can kind of see what it did right so the workout only went for 15 minutes <sighs> I'm quite temporary. my heart it was 15 minutes in cardio and 36 minutes in fat burning zone so it was a pretty intense workout um I burnt 311 calories in 50 minutes which is very good so it just proves you don't need to be at the gym for like two hours to actually get a good workout in. I only was doing proper work for 50 minutes and I did pretty well. And I'm going to show you all my new favourite smoothie recipe. My language of a mother got me some frozen mango. Yes. So I'm going to try and make like an actual smoothie bowl out of this creation. Alright, so first things first, I'm just going to use half of a banana because I don't need that much. And then I'm going to do... Some frozen berries, just mixed berries. So I'm just gonna add a rough handful. Again, about a handful of frozen mango too. I love mango so much. That'll do it. I'm gonna add a bit of almond milk. Don't add too much because you want this to be thick. And a little bit of water too. And then we add protein powder. I use Botanica Blends uh, Vanilla. It's my favourite. So I just add a tablespoon and a little bit. And then I'm going to add some chia seeds for fibre and extra benefits. And then just a little bit of Yopro yogurt. Yopro yogurt. Alright, now the hard bit comes in. Blending it. If you're going to get like a thick smoothie bowl, it's going to take a lot of tries. Like you have to stop it and shake it um, to get it thick. Don't add more water because it will come runny, but if you want it runny, that's more than fine. Add some water. I was worried this is going to be too runny, but we got it good. 
topping it with this and this. It's got to be quick so I don't want it to melt like it did last time. Now we run and get a photo. Isn't that just beautiful? Careful, careful, careful. So ladies and gentlemen, this is my summery mango fruity protein smoothie bowl recipe. And if you guys try it out, let me know. Hope you guys enjoy it. it smells nice, Auntie. It smells like, I don't know, vanilla. I'm gonna come sit outside. I'm gonna do a little chat. We're gonna have a quick chat about motivation. Back in the day, I'd say about last year, January, I was just motivated all the time. I didn't realize what not being motivated was until you know my life became busy and I had lots of things going for me besides the gym. I've learned what it's like to live a busy life where sometimes you get unmotivated. But what I've learned is motivation will obviously come and go. No one is motivated 24 seven to go to the gym and live this perfect healthy life. It's just unrealistic. What matters is the discipline and goals. You gotta have a goal. You gotta have a reason for why you wanna eat healthy and go to the gym. What I recommend doing is like getting out a book or even on your phone if you want and just write down a few goals and reasons why you wanna go. Things you want to achieve. It could be like I want to be able to do sit-ups for a minute without stopping. I'd like to be able to do a chin-up. I'd like to be able to squat this way, run this distance or whatever. The difference between being unmotivated and then tired and just no energy. But if you're just feeling, oh, you know, I can't really be bothered. What you need to do is just stop thinking. You don't just get your active wear on and just, like, I know it can be hard, but as soon as you stand up and get your active wear on, like you've already done half the hard work, you just gotta get yourself there. And if you're at the gym and feeling unmotivated or you're not enjoying what you're doing, change what you're doing. If you've got a workout plan or something and you're just not enjoying it, you don't have to do it. Change it up, go do some hit or something, get YouTube videos up with workouts and stuff and follow that. Try new equipment, play some music. And then the next little point, you don't need to be at the gym or training for long to have an effective workout. So I used to go to the gym for an hour and a half, which is all well and good. And now I go between 45 minutes and an hour and 15 minutes max. So I get there, I do five minutes of intense cardio to warm myself up. Then I get into my workout, which normally lasts 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how like fast and how much effort I put in. Five minutes of abs at the end. That is all I need. I just get it done, put in as much effort as I, effort as I can, go home and do what else needs to be done. And following on from discipline too, plan out your week so you know what days you're gonna go to the gym or do you work. It doesn't need to be the gym. It could be like, you know, running, swimming, tennis, sports, whatever. And then stick to it. Don't let yourself down, don't just don't go because you can't be bothered. Different story if you're tired, of course, and you feel sick or whatever. Or another source of motivation, you can find people who you, who inspire you, not just with like how they look, but people who say and live a motivating, healthy lifestyle. Or you could make a vision board, which I'm about to get to now. So what I'm gonna do now is make me a vision board. Um, it is one little thing I do four times a year to inspire me, to remind me of my goals, and to keep me motivated. So Pinterest will be your best friend with this because they've got like, you know, the aesthetic photos. Um, and so I'm going to go through and tell you guys my goals and why I put each photo on there. And then so I'm just going to like make a new board, it's called. Alright, now I'm looking for like a group workout sort of... Cause I'm starting my own fitness programs in the park. Like I just want like a image of that. People training in a park. I know I've got, I know I've got... I like this one too. Then I'm gonna get like a photo of a little market store because that is another thing for me. Um, I'm going to be doing a healthy food store at the market. back and I have brought this um what's it called felt memo board so this is what I'm going to use to make my vision board out of because my other one is at um, my dad's house and I'm just going to leave that one there and I'll vamp that up another time so this one will be cool because I don't need to like ticky tape stuff or whatever just pin them on 
nice and easy. It was only eight bucks from Kmart, so you can't go wrong. That pins it off all the photos, and I'll tell you what they mean once they're on. I have also got um, this thing here, which I brought ages ago, and I need to put photos in there. And then I also brought some pins as well that I can use to stick them on. stressful but we're finally done so in this board here i have got the millennials slash my best friends this photo is uh when we did a random fancy night out so we all dressed up heaps fancy um as you can see and we went out for dinner and rode us rode these like scooters around the city and they are all just the most amazing group of friends i've ever had in my entire life this board is their like little appreciation board in my room this is when we went bowling me chantelle and luca and then this is us at a quarry we've been up to many adventures and then we have got my finalized vision board so i'm just going to go through it really quickly so up here is the like snow cabin thing that i want to go to me and mia friend from school me and luca on our fancy dinner uh, Christmas, because love Christmas decorations and stuff. You are the greatest project you'll ever work on. A cute little quote that I found. And then we have got New York, because obviously, as we all know, I wanted to go to New York. Tennis player, because I started playing tennis recently, and that's just like a little inspiration. Uh, Hyundai i30N. That is my dream car that I really want to get. It's just so beautiful, and I love the colour. Then this is all of us out on our fancy dinner. Um, me and me again. When we got in can inducted for our captain positions in the school this is luca on his last day um this is paris which i would like to go to um a beach set up paddleboarding or new york and then the like training thing in the park because that's what i'm going to start soon so that is my vision board i need to find a spot to hang this i can't really hang it in a rental so I don't know where it's going to go, but there we go. And I highly recommend you guys make one like one day after school or on a weekend. It's so much fun and it just is a beautiful, lovely decoration for your room that is motivating and inspiring. I don't mind the phone quality. This is editing Paris here. I don't know what happened, but the ending bit of this video is missing in action. Um, but that is all for this little motivation focus video. Um, I hope you guys maybe got some tips or found this video helpful. A bit shaky. Definitely recommend giving a vision board a crack. And let me know in the comments what some things you guys have put on yours. I'm currently dying of um, heat stroke. It is like um, 35 degrees here. And I'm currently very warm. We've got no air conditioner. But um, yeah. If you guys enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe. All of that jazz. And I'll see you all in my next video.